Today we are going to see how to install DHCP server on your Linux machine. If you don't know about DHCP, DHCP is a protocol that is being used to assign IP addresses in a network. DHCP removes the need for manual IP assignment which is very difficult and can cause IP conflicts in a network. So without any further ado, let's get started. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Whenever a new device joins a network, it sends a broadcast request. When the DHCP server receives this request, it sends a DHCP offer packet. This packet contains a proposed IP for the client. Upon receiving the offer, the client sends another packet which is called a DHCP request message asking the server to finalize the IP assignment. The server then offers an acknowledgement stating that the request has been granted and the client can use the IP address for a certain period of time. This time is called lease time. Before we proceed further, consider subscribing to this channel if you are interested in home lab servers and open source projects. The first thing we need to do is update our Linux system. First, let's update the repositories and to do that, let's type the following command sudo apt update this should update the repositories once we are done type sudo apt upgrade this should upgrade your system and it is going to take some time so i'm going to pause this here let's focus now on setting up a dhcp server to install the server we would need a package which is called isc dhcp server to install this package, type sudo apt install isc dhcp server. This should install the server on your system. The next step is to navigate to the directory where the configuration files are present. Here we will create our own configuration file, but before that, let's make a backup of the default file so we can restore it if we mess something up. Let's create a new configuration file from scratch. To do that, type touch dhcpd.conf. This should create an empty configuration file and we will edit our own code here. In order to edit the file, type sudo nano dhcpd.conf. This should open a terminal editor which you can use to edit this file. First, we will define the default release time. In this case, we are going to have a lease time of 10 minutes and the maximum lease time we will define as one day. And after that, we will define a subnet mask. Next, we will define another option for broadcast address. Our network will have a form of 20.0.0.x. Then we will define the domain name. In this case, since we don't have a domain, we will use the server.local as a domain. Since this is going to be our primary DHCP server, we will add an authoritative keyword to denote that. Finally, we will define the range of DHCP addresses. All the clients will be assigned the addresses from this pool. We will also define a default router address which will be the IP of this network interface where we are running our DHCP server. Finally, we will use the same network interface for DNS server as well. Our configuration file is complete. Once you are done, press Ctrl S to save and Ctrl X to close. Our next step is to assign the DHCP server on a network interface that it will be running on. To do that, open the ISC DHCP server file and you should see the IPv4 interfaces. This field is currently empty. Let's find out what network interfaces we have. To do that, type IP ADDR and you should see the list of all network interfaces which are available. In our case, we are going to run DHCP on ENP 2S0 interface. We will copy this and paste it in the file. We are almost done. Let's try running it and see what happens. In order to start the DHCP server, type system control restart isc dhcp server. 
and if you check the status you will see that it fails something is wrong there are usually two reasons first is the firewall issue and second the network interface does not have an ip of itself let's fix the firewall issue first we need to allow port 67 on the system so we will use ufw module on linux In order to fix the IP assignment issue, let's write ifconfig, then the name of the network interface and the address of the router. And let's start the DHCP server again. If you check the status now, you can see that the service is now running. To further verify, let's write ipaddr and you should see an address assigned to this network interface. Now it's time to test. Physically connect the client machine to the server either directly or through a switch and go to the client machine. In our case, the client machine is a Windows 10. If you type ipconfig, you should see a new IP assigned to this network interface. In this case, the address is 20.0.0.6, which is from the pool we defined above. We can also try to ping the DHCP server and see if we get a response. This means that the DHCP server is accessible from this machine. Let's go back to the Linux server and try to ping the client machine with 20.0.0.6 and see if we get a response. Well, it seems like the IP assignment is done and the DHCP server is running properly. With that, we come to an end of our video. I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.